Okay, John, I would like you to make two intersecting circles using the compass that you have. And if you want to make the circles pretty medium size, medium so size. increase your compass a little bit. That should be good right about there. No, even that might be a little too small. Let's try this. That's good. Now remember, you want to fit two of the circles on the piece of braille paper. That and I'm going to try and go as close to the middle as I can here. Oh, I remember. Okay. I'll try it. Let's see. Take it from here. There you go. There. Oops. I'm going to retrace that section. Okay, should be good. Okay. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now you want to make one that intersects with that so that you have sections that okay. are adjoining. All right, so I'm going to turn it over again. This is probably the biggest problem I have with the compass, is that the tracing wheel makes a design on the other side of the paper, and then when you try and make it smaller, you've got to try and find this little dot right here where the uh, other, where the pointy edge of the compass has poked through the paper, and sometimes that's really hard to find. I think I have it though, so I'm going to make this one smaller. So no, you want to make them the same size circle, and you want to have them have intersecting parts. So you're not going to use this, this, the radius at all, the center point. Okay. So I'm going to do this then, and put it right about here. Okay, but you're going to make that circle right in the same circle. What we want to do is you want to have okay. the circles separate. We'll put it right here then. Okay, is your circle going to all fit on the paper? Yes, it will. It'll fit, because I'm, I'm far enough over. Pretty close. <laughs> yep, and then you go like right around here. Okay, let's try doing another one. All right. Where it fit, and you di um, it didn't intersect at all with that circle either. Okay, I can feel this circle. It's right down here. Okay, so... We might want to do one, let's see. Yeah, this should fit all on the paper. Okay, why don't you try make it, have it go all the way around before you, and does it intersect at all? Wait, before you yeah, start tracing. It does, it's gonna intersect right through here. Okay, before you start tracing, make sure that's gonna fit all on the paper. Yeah, it is, because I went all the way around down here already. Down okay. here, it's gonna be a tight fit, but it will fit. All right, that should be good. Let's see here. Let's see here if we have. Ah, it's pretty close. The two circles intersect like right through here and here. So they there's intersect two. very little. They have a very small spot that intersects. Well, that's okay because in geometry, sometimes they intersect a whole side and mm -hmm. sometimes it's just points. Right, right. Okay, I'm going to have you do one more circle. Okay. And this time I want you to do it where it intersects to the center of the original circle that you drew. The center. So you want, here, turn your paper over. Okay. Or wait, you can keep it this way. Yeah, I want Here's to see. Here's the first circle that you drew. Mm hmm Right here. And here's the center. And I want you to draw a circle that the edge comes to the center. Okay, let me see here. Let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to mess with the size a little bit here. Let's see. If I Make it, so you probably want to make your compass a little bigger. A little bigger, huh? Well, let's see. I'm just going to put it by the edge and see if I go all the way around. If I'll make... Well, let's see. If I put it right here, it's going over this the center. Ah, I might want to make it just a tad bigger. I think you're right. Okay, that's good. Okay, how are you going to line up your compass? Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to put it like... Uh, because if I, if I put it right here, then it's going to intersect the center of the circle, which is right about here. 
Good. So you want to put the tracing wheel part on the center of the circle. Right. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to try, without moving the compass too much, and put it in. Close. It does come through the center here of that other circle. Now you want to make sure that when you do this next time that you mm -hmm. push down harder on the tracing wheel because in sections you It's can a little less, it's a little faded. An open circle. Okay, what are some advantages and disadvantages of that you see to the compass? Well, one advantage... For you to do it. For me doing it, well, one advantage is um, I get a better picture of what the geometry teacher is talking about when she says that circles can intersect at different points. Um, one key disadvantage, however, is that every time you use a tracing wheel, it puts the design on the other side of the paper. And therefore, you know, if I didn't have your assistance, I may not have been able to get those circles to intersect at all. Because when you flip the paper over, you know, it becomes hard. You can kind of feel the design uh, you can feel the backside of it a little bit, but it's kind of hard to tell where it's going to intersect, especially when you have to take your compass and say, okay, you know, if I put it here, put my tracing wheel here, then it's going to intersect the circle, you know, right here. It's kind of hard to feel that without moving the compass all around and getting your, um, you know, having your spatial awareness become all messed up mm -hmm. as, as to where you are. So that's some of the advantages and dis. One other disadvantage is depending on, because the compass is kind of an odd shape, depending on where it is on the circle, sometimes it's going to be harder and, and easier to um, push down real hard on the tracing wheel. Because if it's over here, it's fine, but it's when it gets here and like here that this edge, wants, this side wants to move around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you did a very nice job today with making the circles. Um, in the past, you've had some difficulties, like you were saying, where the center of the circle drifts. That's because they and required it to be in a smaller area. Right. We were lucky. We could use a whole piece of paper and make a big circle. But for some of these problems, when you had three and four circles, it was necessary to shrink them. And then when you, get, when you deal with smaller uh, figures, it allows you less room for error. And therefore, the errors appear greater. Mm -hmm. Um, some of the advantages and disadvantages that I see to this is one, the, um, when the students are doing it, they don't get as um, hard of a textual um, readout um, because there's so much for them to try to concentrate on doing. And also, I didn't mention before that a lot of times this, the circle, the center point that they're holding the, the center of the compass in tends to increase as they're moving the compass around, as it does a lot of times with sighted people. But so then that makes the circle, um, the hole gets dragged out, so then the circle doesn't line up how it's supposed to line up. Um, so then they're not getting the complete circle that they need to have. Also, the compass does not have um, a reading on it, so you can't tell the degrees of the circle. Um, as a sighted compass has. I did find this beneficial for when I had to make circles for his um, handouts and worksheets. This worked better for me than using a tracing wheel where I would draw a circle in print first and then use a tracing wheel over it. I found that I um, got a better circle when I used this, but then I still had some of the same problems where the center of the circle ended up getting larger and the circles didn't line up. The other problem is, is that the type of surface that you have to do it on, um, when we used a rubber mat, it would eat through the rubber mat. Um, you have to do it on some type of surface because otherwise the tracing wheel that's on the compass will eat through the um, tables, make marks on tables. Um, so the thing we found best is either using cardboard or using newspaper to make the circles. Mm 